Hi, my name is Sydney Reist and I am a UVic alumni. I'm currently working at the University of Victoria Student Housing and Dining Project by the Ellis Don Kinetic Joint Venture. You can see the project here behind me. The project includes two new buildings which will have a net increase of over 600 new beds for students. So, let's go for a sidewalk. So behind me, right off of Ring Road, you can see the start of Building 1, which will be a total of eight stories tall. On your left here, you can see where the dining hall will be on Level 1 and Level 2. And just ahead of us here on the left will be where you can come and grab your food um, from the kitchen. So Level 1 of Building 1 will consist of a dining hall and commercial kitchen spaces. Level two will consist of multi-purpose spaces and extra dining hall seating, along with kitchen storage. From levels three and up to level eight will all be residence rooms. One of the wings is actually only gonna be six stories, and one of the wings is actually going to be eight stories. Uh, we can take a walk over to building two. So I'm standing right where VGs and CAPS were, uh, but now that Cadboro Commons building has been deconstructed. We've started building two, as you can see. So building two will be at its highest, 11 stories tall, and level one and level two will consist of lecture hall, meeting, um, and study spaces for students. And from levels three all the way to the top of the building will be resident spaces, including student rooms and lounge spaces. Building 1 will open for the start of the fall term in September 2022, and Building 2 will be completed in the spring of 2023. The project was successful in receiving funding from the province's Student Housing Loan Fund. The project includes the implementation of the Campus Greenway, a new multimodal pathway across the campus. Uh, the, the Greenway includes new vibrant open spaces and seating areas, and more space for people and bikes. The project's being built to the Passive House standard. Passive House is known around the world for rigorous standards in energy efficiency and occupant comfort. The project will be one of the biggest Passive Houses in British Columbia and the biggest in Victoria. So I think this project will be a really be beneficial project for both students and the community because I remember as a student always struggling to find affordable housing and available housing in the area. And so I think these two buildings will really fill the need for student housing and it'll open up housing in the area for members of the community that aren't students.